said no particular order for any of this when we were in home bargains i thought this would be really handy for our sofa we have had them before or i've had one before anyway it's just loads of glitter all over it because it's come off of something else um but you know these these are uh, sofa trays so i did pick up three of these i think they were 3.99 each um so what three of these just to go on the arms of our sofa so i'm hoping they'll work well on them um just like your coffee and stuff you know so i'll pop these on a bit later try them see what they're like so so three of those now, this was in home bargains as well so i've got two of these somewhere as the other one um you know the oven liners that you can get uh because literally we just literally had our oven cleaned last weekend um so yeah i'll we'll keep on top of it you know so two of those i'll find the other one in a minute um some nappy sacks but we use these as poo bags for the dogs um some of these for luke they're the walkers baked what's it's the flaming hot um flaming hot ones Um, Chris fancy trying these, Uncle Joe's Mint Balls. <laughs> oh, no idea what they're like. There you go. And some more batteries. Um, there's another pack somewhere. So these are the Duracell AA. There's 12 here. Gosh, aren't batteries expensive? But this time of year, we get through them, don't we? Um, picked up this the, in this was still home bargains um, and this is the a pop-up laundry bin they do them in I think about three different colours they did this sort of black and white squiggly one they did one that was a little bit kind of leopardy printy and then a pink sort of geometric uh, so we just went for that um, this was produced at 6 .99, and I thought it came in really really handy for any sort of well i know it's more christmasy because it's like a tree with a star on but you know i guess really you could use it for any occasion to be perfectly honest just like for your little your little buffet spread i thought i'd try these oh no so we're now on to no no um, a home bargain still, some of the licorice all sorts, the uh, Maynard's Bassett licorice all sorts. Got Ted, our little dog, one of our little doggies, a new coat. So this is like the knitted sort of festive one with the reindeer and sort of all very uh, sort of scandy. So that's when he goes outside because he's got a thick coat. He's a Pomeranian, doesn't need it indoors, but when we go out, he does. Um, grab some of these. and We've each had one since we've been home with a coffee. And these are the Grab Hour the White Kisses. And they're basically like a little um, wafer at the bottom with marshmallow and white chocolate. Well, there's the other um, oven liner. These are for Luke. Some of the Frutella Juicy Chews. So this one's like berries and cherries. This one's strawberries and um strawberries lemon and, and orange oh this one's cherry blackberry strawberry raspberry those ones uh small batteries there we go there's a second lot of batteries um for another project of mine i've got some more wool to start 
There we go, that's the colours that I've got to start on the project. I've got two bags of the mini marshmallows just to put by the little drink station over Christmas. Some of these for me, thought we might like them. And they are the Lentil Chips Flaming Hot flavour. There we go. I thought this looks really cute. I really like these little sort of, um, what do they call it? Like the Alpine sort of Christmas trees uh, sort of displays. And it's on like a sort of a semicircle plinth. I thought I'd be able to style that really nicely. And then as I get round to the next, aisle they had this one in the white and the silver so those two i think i'll be able to style quite nicely that's where the glitters come from that i believe was everything that we actually got in home bargains i'm sure so some of these going for Luke. Here's a snackaholic. These are the salt and vinegar starry night mix by Snack Right. Um, picked up this, the Good Housekeeping Yule Log. Thought that looked really nice. Look at that. It's quite yummy, isn't it? This thought was nice looking. The slices are so thick, aren't they? Look at them. Um, this is the chocolate chip brioche loaf um, and we thought we'd have some of this probably probably tonight because we ain't out today. This I got for Luke but I don't think he actually wants it tonight so I just picked him up like a, a ready meal because we don't want uh, like a meal tonight. Um, and this is the rich and creamy, it's the specially selected range, rich and creamy spaghetti carbonara. It does really look very, very nice, look. Um, a Belgian chocolate fudge pudding, which is new. It says I'm new on it. Um, there's lots of treats in here, to be fair. Marzipan stolen bites. Loads of treats. These because Luke likes them, the white chocolate cookies. Chris likes them as well, though, I have to say. Uh, Chris, he loves his M&Ms. He's an m and guy, especially these ones with the nuts. He likes the ones with the nuts. So he's got a bag of those. Some Madagascan vanilla custard. That looks nice, doesn't it? I thought this would be really cute for the table at Christmas. And it's just a set of two king candle holders and they've got the LED candles in. Okay, then I've got some beauty products, lots of dupes. So this is the Almond Exfoliating Body Scrub, leaves skin refreshed. So that's the Exfoliating Body Scrub, the Audi, that's a dupe for, I'm not sure. Um, it's a dupe for something, but right this moment I can't even think. <laughs> can't think straight. This is a foundation. This was the only one I could sort of see that might possibly be my colour. Um, it was opened, like the cut, the box was open, but it hadn't been taken out. In fact, I can't even get it out of the flipping package. I might need to open the bottom and push it through. Let's have a look. So this is in. Well, wow. this is the Lacura Luminous Filter Glamour Foundation, 30 mils in shade four. It looks quite dark in all honesty, but will it be? I don't know. It was actually one of the lighter ones there. Let's have a look. Is it a pump? Oh, okay. Well, this is weird. Okay. To be fair, it's quite dark. But is it one of those ones that's sort of like watery ones? So it's more of a stain. So that's what it looks like. Let's give it a rub in. Oh, wow. <laughs> Luminous. Oh, wow. Actually, it's quite nice. I actually think it'll be all right. Because that's the hand with it on, that's the hand without. And I think that'd probably be okay for me. Right, so it's that one. Um, got some of this. 
some of the Lecura Sleep Pulse Oil. So I'm going to be trying that tonight with the lavender, uh, vetiver, jasmine and, eucalypt and eucalyptus. And you just literally pop it onto your, um, onto your pulse points before bed. So that one, try that one tonight. Along with this one, the Lecura Sleep Pillow Mist, which is lavender. Oh, it's the same, same fragrance. Um, give this a little squeeze little spray i'm having such trouble sleeping oh it smells beautiful mm. that's lovely and i know this is a dupe for something and i can't remember off the top of my head what it is um is it is it rituals i can't remember you know Smells lovely though, but I'm only just not sleeping because I'm just not comfortable, I'm in such a lot of pain. Uh, this one is the cleansing balm. So in the, um, it's for all skin types and it is in, uh, enriched with moringa oil, shea butter and cocoa butter for all skin types. Let's have a little smell of that one, that's what it is. Looks like so. I think this might be like an Elemis dupe. It does smell nice, but if it is an Elemis dupe, it doesn't smell anywhere near as nice as the Elemis does. But you know, it's nice all the same. I'll give it a go. And then finally, this, which is the Lacura hair oil, which is infused with honey extracts, 50 mils here. And it just says apply one to three drops to hair, one to, sorry, one to three drops of hair oil to damp or dry hair, comb product evenly throughout mid length to ends. Um, yeah, so that's that one. I unfortunately can't remember how much any of them were now, but you all know sort of Aldi prices are very good, aren't they? So we popped into Lidl's as well. The only thing that we got in Lidl oh, were these. Um, just thought it looked really good. Is the um, Lidl's Deluxe Belgium Dark Chocolate Double Smash Cake. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Um, a luxurious hand finished salted caramel cheesecake topped with two velvety Belgian dark chocolate shells and an indulgent salted caramel sauce inside. Just smash it to reveal it all. Yum, yum. Looks good. That does look good. I did get two lots of mince pies from there, from the deluxe range. So these are the all butter ones. Crumbly, all butter, short crust, pastry cases, generously deep filled with lightly spiced mincemeat laced with brandy and finished with a sweet dusting. So I've got two of those. This, I thought these look really nice. The uh, There's four in here, the vanilla flavoured ice cream meringue domes. They look nice too. So I need to get these into the freezer. Oh, hello. Hello, my angel delights. Oh, hello, mummy's children. Hello. What are you doing? You want a treat? Treat you have to wait a minute. And then two lots of paracetamol. So that's everything that I got in Lidl's. Let's get on to the other shop. We also picked up this little case of J2O. This is the glitterberry one. So it's the grape, cherries and spice flavour. There's 10 bottles here. I, th I think I actually forgot to say that we popped into Waitrose because we had to cut through Waitrose to get to the charity shop I wanted to get to. Well, we could have gone round, but why would you when you can cut through, right? Got these. I got this, the Arch Light Set. So it should work. They usually test everything, don't they, these days in the charity shop. So this is one of the German arches and it was £3. So that was... A really good price. This was from the charity shop. This was three pounds as well. This dear little red robin. He's going to go on to the kitchen windowsill because on the cupboard doors we have some robin stickers 
for Christmas. So he's going to, yeah, he's going to live there for a little while. Uh, we've got these in the charity shop. They were four pounds, um, but they are um, a set of vintage handkerchiefs for for Chris. Whoops, for Chris. Chris does still enjoy carrying a handkerchief with him. He is that guy who does still like to carry a hanky. I saw these, picked up these. They have a lot of vintage kind of cloths in there and I just thought that was absolutely stunning. Just to put in the center of a table or something. Really beautiful. And that, my loves, was 50p. 50p, bargain. This one was two pounds and it will fit my dining table beautifully. We've got a round table. This is obviously not round, it's square, but it will fit over sort of that way. So you've got the four corners over the edges of the table. And again, another vintage tablecloth. I love these vintage things, they're beautiful. Then three books, so three Christmas books, and all well, the Christmas books were three for a pound. So this is a Slim and Wild one uh, with like Christmas recipes in it. So I thought I'd have a look at that. Because I do, as you know, I do enjoy a good old cookery book. Uh, this one is festive food from around the world. So all the different types of recipes from around the world. So I thought I'd read that one is a children's book and I thought I'd get this for Lennox and Hetty um, and it's by Miles Kelly and it's Christmas Stories. This book belongs to, it's never been written in. It still looks absolutely brand new. Look at the illustrations. Aren't they gorgeous? I mean, it's just lovely. And on all the pages, they've got little you know, little um, little characters, it's lovely. So that was everything from the charity shop today. And then, as I say, we went to, quick opt into Waitrose because this is what I was after for Chris, because you can't find them everywhere. I can find them in the Waitrose, find them in Sainsbury's, find them on Ocado, um, and they're the pickled walnuts. Um, same price everywhere. So I've got those for Chris because he does love his pickled walnuts. <laughs> These I've been trying to get on my shopping deliveries and every time I order them, they allow me to order them. When it's delivery time, they, they're not available. So I don't know if they're readily available yet everywhere. Um, but we've got two of these, one to try now to see if we like them and if we do, one to pop away for Christmas. I'm sure we'll love them. And they're the Lint Choco Wafer. They're milk chocolate and hazelnuts. And they're advertised on the TV right now. That is what they're like. Yum. And then last but not least, in Waitrose we saw these. They had been very much reduced. So we got them because you can always do with new bakeware. So this is a John Lewis professional 29 centimetre brownie tin, heavy gauge. And my goodness, it is heavy. And this was reduced down from... £12 to £4.99, so, you know, a bargain. That actually could be a perfect size, I think, for us to have, like, like you know, a, a cottage pie or a lasagna in as well. Perfect size for the three of us. And then I've got two of these. These are so heavy. So I've got two of these, guys. Um, again, they're the John Lewis Professional um 34 and a half by 24.4 centimeter baking tray our heavy gauge carbon steel range is designed to give outstanding performance and non-stick results and this is down from 14 pound to 5.99 um so yeah i got two of those and they've got 10 year guarantees with them as well so you know you can't knock can you and i'm pretty sure that is everything and if I've missed anything I do apologize but I don't think I have I think I've got everything um yeah
that's what we did today. So we got out and about, went to several shops. I'm absolutely shattered now though. So I need to make a nice cold drink. I've had a coffee, I'm in my jammies, need to make a drink. And tomorrow's gonna to be the day when we're starting, I think, to get some of the Christmas decorations in out of the garage ready to do, because we haven't put any decorations up yet. Um, yeah, I've normally sort of started by the first and I haven't yet, so. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give this video a thumbs up. I'd be so grateful if you could subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to press that notification bell so then as soon as I do an upload, you get notified. But until the next one, my lovelies, take care of yourselves, won't you? And I'll speak to you all in the next video. Bye for now. Bye. Da 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 da, making our Christmas memories.